I first heard about Demarzio because I, I heard that, you know, I saw that these great players were using Demarzio pickups. And when I got my first endorsement, I was playing Ibanez guitars. Those were the pickups that were used in those models. And, uh, you know, I immediately started and began that relationship with you, Larry, and with Steve and everybody there. And that, that was the beginning. I never looked back, never changed pickups. You know, the only thing we did is we changed the models. And uh, obviously now I have my own custom versions, but I've been using Demarzio pickups since I've been playing professionally. I've been with Music Man for 10 years plus. Actually, we're on our, our 11th year now, and uh, in commemoration of the 10 years, we came out with the JPX, which is the X for 10, meaning our 10th anniversary of guitar. And the guitar has uh, changed a bunch over the years. The original model that we came up with, the body shape was a bit different, had a, a scoop over here, was made out of basswood, and uh, it had a rosewood fretboard a little bit different. The fret size was a little bit different. We went from there onto the BFRs, which combined different tone woods. So the guitar is made of alder and mahogany neck, maple top. And we changed the pickups a little bit along the way. And uh, they, through, through those years, it kind of culminated, I guess, into the JPX, where we took all the different things uh, that we liked and we put them all into one guitar. The ebony fretboard, the bigger fret size, the black hardware. With the introduction of the chambering in this guitar, I find that this guitar is very resonant. When you play a note and you just kind of hold on to the neck, you can feel it vibrating in, in your hand. And, uh, you know, th there's, there's a certain type of overtone quality that the, the JPX has that the others don't have, and it's most likely due to the chambering, because that's really the, the biggest difference, I would say, besides the, the uh, body being a little bit bigger. Using DiMarzio pickups, of course, that hasn't changed for ever. I can't remember ever using anything else. And through the years, Steve and I have made some changes to try to make them evolve. The goal is, was always to try to make them better. You know, what, what can we do to make them better? They sound great. And now we're looking to do something that's, you know, even better than that. How can we get the top strings to be a little thicker? How can we get the lower strings to be a little tighter? And thus we came out with the signature pickups and they're in this guitar. So this is my Crunch Lab. This is my liquefier and it's the first signature DiMarzio pickups uh, that I've ever had. There's a couple of new things going on. Uh, first, Dream Theater will be in the studio in January of 2011 to begin work on our next album. So I'm really excited about that. I have been working on a follow-up solo album to my first one, Suspended Animation. And so right now I'm in the stage where I'm completing the pre-production and demos for that and having a lot of fun working those songs out. And, uh, you know, I, I hope to complete that soon. It's something that's really uh, means a lot to me. And I think it'll be a great thing when it is finally completed. Thank you.